بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله I just finished my Maghrib prayer I had a good iftar alhamdulillah I was about to spend some quality time with my family then my telephone rang and this lady on the other side she said that my name is Lena I have been watching a few of your videos I have questions for you I said alhamdulillah I would be honored my dear sister how can I help you For the next 30 minutes I was going back and forth responding to her questions then she asked me a question that really placed a big smile on my face she asked I want to read the Quran can you please send me one I said sister Lena for me to send you a copy of the Quran I need to have your address what is your address silence I can hear her sobbing it was an awkward silence i was thinking what is going on and then she stopped sobbing and she said i am homeless and i was thinking to myself my dear brothers my dear sisters i just finished an awesome iftar i have a family i have a roof over my head and i'm taking all of these things for granted and look at this sister she said but you can send the copy of the quran to my friend's house i'm sleeping in her garage as i was starting to write down her address she made a statement that really made a big smile even bigger smile the bigger smile that i can ever have she asked me the question you know dr sabil i have been thinking after you have responded to my questions i have been thinking that this is an auspicious month how can i become a muslim I said Allahu Akbar my dear sister Lena that's the best decision of your life alhamdulillah so please repeat after me ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadur rasulullah Allahu Akbar sister welcome to islam alhamdulillah My dear Muslims there are three important lessons that I learned from this incident from this shahada from this wonderful sister number one is that often we take our blessings for granted there are so many non muslims out there but Allah has guided us he has chosen us he has honored us so we should constantly thank Allah pray to Allah and pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we can help other people who may be less fortunate than us number two though sister lena is poor I believe that she is much richer than the Bill Gates, the Jeff Bezos and the Warren Buffets of the world because she has what they don't. She has the gift of iman and this gift is priceless. This gift of iman is much better than any power, any title, any wealth that anyone can ever have. And number three, there are millions and millions of Lenas in the world, in the USA, in Europe, around the world. they are searching for the truth they are looking for the truth they are waiting for the truth and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen you and me to share with them the truth the truth of islam the blessings of islam the guidance of the quran though we are helping sister lena with financial resources educational resources and with mentorship i want to encourage each single one of you to really do dua today and tonight for sister lena that may allah keep her and all of us protected and guided and help us to share this beautiful faith with humanity ameen alhamdulillah so please repeat after me ashhadu an la ilaha illallah